Shut up and sit down. Hey guys, so welcome to my vlog. I saw and got to ride on the most amazing things. These, I, they're awesome. They're going to change a lot of people's lives. They're going to change the world for, some, for a lot of people. Without a doubt. And uh, I think you're going to enjoy this. Take a look. And this rear wheel is here. Construct our eyes. It's awesome. It has a different type of stuff. It's a very tight little circle. A Sears can't help her out. Yeah. And somebody with. So let's say you had a stroke because you were weak on one side. Mm -hmm. You can still just steer with one hand. Oh, wow. That is awesome. Yeah. And it's very fun to to race in the end of the house. So <laughs> basically, it's a uh, very light track to operate. And I would invite you to ride it. I would love to ride it. You're tall enough to fit this one. <laughs> Brake levers, lock, and you squeeze them all the way. For anybody who's unsteady on their feet, and then maybe gets tired of your feet, you can't pop the brake. Squeeze, oh. squeeze the silver button. Uh, that's so we're getting used to. It's a, it's a short learning curve. <laughs> <laughs> so it's basically a recumbent quadricycle, but you can ride it up to a table or the restaurant and sit and eat. Yeah, and you can fit in like every uh, every elevator out there too. Yeah, it goes in the back of a small SUV easily. How much are they? They are $5,499, delivered in the tri-state area by Ken and myself. It's, it's we're that small right now. But it's wickedly maneuverable. This is cool. I love it. I thought you might. Seeing as you already have your permits. <laughs> this is pretty cool too. The trainer is? Yeah, it has a differential. <clears throat> the riding recklessly at the ability to expo in large open space, I got up to 9.1 miles an hour. But that's getting out of control. Well, I did. Oh. I built the our trainer for our first user. She's an 89 year old woman who had a stroke. Very cool. Uh, Ken's grandson got up to 17 miles an hour on the trainer because he didn't have to steer. <clears throat> if you have a side transfer from the wheelchair, you can pull the steering wheeler out so you get a level surface so you can use a transfer port to get into it. Snooter don't care what you ate for dinner. Snooter don't care that you're not a winner, no. He just snoots. So, those things, probably the coolest things I've ever seen in the realm of recumbent bike riding, recumbent trike riding. I mean, technically they're uh, quads, they have four wheels, but they're absolutely phenomenal. And I gotta tell you, I, I would love one. Last year when I did the uh, 400 mile Jersey Shore ride, 200 miles uh, to Cape May and then back, I would love, just absolutely love the opportunity to take one of those and ride it down to Cape May just, just to show how durable they are because those things, they're solid. I mean, they are absolutely solid. There's not a doubt in my mind. To me, the only drawback is that they are single speed. Uh, they're fixies so that you can go in reverse. Um, I'm wondering if they put a pinion drive on them, if uh, they could still go in reverse and you would have gearing options. I mean, you wouldn't want to go much faster than uh, 10 miles an hour on one because they don't have the, the long rear end but for
for heels, I, I think some gears would, uh, would really help them out. Um, and it would really extend where somebody who absolutely needed one could ride it. So go check out myvelochair.com. They also have a Facebook page and an Instagram page. Um, and they've got some video of them too, people riding them. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. And as always, like, follow, share, and subscribe. Just hit a big bump. Have a great day. Bye. Snooter don't care what you ate for dinner. Snooter don't care that you're not.